All right, we're looking at cranial nerves here. This is the olfactory nerve going through the cribriform plate. This is the optic nerve going through the optic canal. This is the ocular motor nerve and the trochlear nerve, which are both going through the cavernous sinus and the superior orbital fissure. Down here we have the abducens nerve, which is going out the clivus through the cavernous sinus and out the superior orbital fissure. As we come out to the side here, we see the trigeminal nerve with the trigeminal ganglia. Remember that the trigeminal ganglia contains sensory pseudounipolar neurons. This is the ophthalmic branch of trigeminal, which goes through the cavernous sinus and the superior orbital fissure. Maxillary branch of trigeminal, which goes through the cavernous sinus and the foramen rotundum. Mandibular branch of trigeminal, which goes through the foramen ovale. Next door to this, we have the foramen spinosum, which transmits the middle meningeal artery. As we come out to the outer portions here now, we have cranial nerves 7 and 8, facial and vestibular cochlear, going through the internal auditory meatus. We have cranial nerve 9, 10, and 11, which are going through glossopharyngeal vagus and hypo, and sorry, glossopharyngeal vagus and spinal accessory, which are going through the jugular foramen. Spinal accessory is also going through the foramen magnum. So you go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this is cranial nerve 12, hairy the hypoglossal, which is going through the hypoglossal canal. Going through the foramen magnum will be the spinal accessory nerve and the spinal cord brainstem. Uh, just to review here of Circle of Willis, we've got posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. We've got the anterior spinal arteries coming off the vertebral arteries. We come up to the basilar arteries, you'll have the anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, the labyrinthine arteries, which are going out to the internal auditory meatus. Then you'll have little pontine arteries here. At the top of the basilar, you've got the superior cerebellar and then the posterior cerebral. Coming through here, you've got posterior communicating, which join up with the internal carotids, which are branching into middle and anterior cerebrals. The two anterior cerebrals are connected via an anterior communicating. This forms the circle of Willis.